What is a quadratic form and why is it interesting for us? And how can you recognize a quadratic form? That is what we will discuss in this video. Let's start with some examples and then the definition will come later. Well, a quadratic form is a multivariable function, for example a function of two variables. And we have for example a function f of x1 and x2 equals x1 squared plus x2 squared. This is an example of a quadratic form. So what happens if you try to draw contour lines of this function, then you get x1 squared plus x2 squared equals k, so you will get circles. That will be a general property of quadratic forms as we will learn later. The contour lines, contour surfaces become something nice. So if we generalize this, we get a function of the form ax1 squared plus bx2 squared. And then we are also allowed to have mixed terms in our quadratic form, say x1 times x2, as long as the sum of the powers, so x1 to the power 1, x2 to the power 1, uh, equals 2. So that's the idea of a quadratic form. You can have quadratic terms or mixed terms as long as the sum of your powers of the terms equals 2. So what happens if you try to construct a quadratic form of three variables? So an h of x1, x2, x3. Well, you can have quadratic terms, so ax1 squared plus bx2 squared plus cx3 squared. And then you can have mixed terms as long as the sum of the powers equals 2. So you can do constant times x1 times x2, or constant times x1 times x3, or constant times x2 times x3. So those make sense. You can make, but if you try to do something like x1 times x2 times x3, then the sum of the powers would equal 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals 3 is not 2, so that's not allowed. So third example, the i of x1 and x2. Uh, this is not a quadratic form. This x1 squared is fine, but then the second term, x1 squared times x2, you have x1 squared has power 2, x2 has power 1, so the sum of the powers equals 3, and it's not equal to 2, so this is not a quadratic form. So this was just the idea. Now we'll we will move on to the uh, f uh, formal definition shortly. Because notice that uh, we can rewrite our quadratic form over here using a symmetric matrix. If we define our matrix A as follows, here it is, so with A's and B's on the diagonal and C over 2's on the off-diagonal elements, and we set our vector x as the vector containing x1 and x2, then we can compute the following product, x transpose times A times x. So what do we get? Here we have our x transpose, our a and our x. Now first we compute the product a times x, so use the row column rule. This one times this one you get ax1 plus c over 2 times x2. That one times this one. Uh, c over 2 times x1 plus uh, b times x2. So we get the vector over here. Leave the vector on the left where it is. And then compute the next product. We get x1 times a times x1 plus c x2 over 2. So this one, this term is a factor of 1 half. And we compute the second term, we get the x2 times bx2, so bx2 squared. And again, this term is a factor of 1 half, so together this gives us c times x1 times x2, which is exactly expression over there. So you see, we can uh, write this g, rewrite this using a symmetric matrix. And that will be in our definition of a quadratic form. So what is a quadratic form now? Precise definition, it is a function, multivariable function, so going from R n to R, which can be rewritten using a symmetric matrix. So you can rewrite your quadratic form as x transpose times a times x, where a is some n by n symmetric matrix, just as we did over here. And this matrix A is uh, the, uh, called the matrix associated with F. So that is what a quadratic form is. Some multivariable function, which you can rewrite as x transpose times A times x, with some symmetric matrix A. So, well, where is it used? Well, first of all, uh, geometrically, uh, it's relatively easy to plot all kinds of uh, level sets. 
of uh, multivariable functions if they are a quadratic form. So that's one. And more in engineering, uh, this is used in uh, uh, constraint optimization techniques. So that's where it's used for engineers. And uh, maybe there are even more applications. I don't know of, but you don't know. But you do know of. If you know some of them, please uh, state them uh, in the comment section of this video.